Thanks for joining us tonight. Caitlin Alexander has the night off. Conversion therapy for LGBTQ youth is legal in more than half the United States, but one Minnesota community not far from Rochester is joining the few to ban this practice. Our Zach Fuller spoke to Red Wings mayor about this recent decision. Zach. Tom, many say conversion therapy is outdated and has zero medical value behind it. And although Minnesota does not have a law against it, Red Wing decided the practice has no place in its city. Red Wing has a mission. We all wanted to show support and commitment to, to the health and safety of everyone in the community, including our LGBTQ young people. So the city is now banning conversion therapy. I think it came very clear that there was overwhelming evidence uh, provided over the years uh, uh, from research that conversion therapy for minors is a dangerous practice and that leads permanent mental scars to those forced, forced to undergo those measures and often leads to depression, anxiety, and suicide. Minnesota is one of 29 states and four territories with no law or policy banning the practice. Red Wing did not want to wait for the state to take action or other cities and the council felt that it should not be afraid to pass its own ban. Meanwhile, Rochester has its own resolution against the practice. We agree this is a barbaric practice that is absolutely wrong. We should not be doing it. And we've expressed that the um, levels of government that have the authority to make the change need to do so. The city is now calling on the state to pass a bill banning it. This is um, something that the state needs to take action on. A lot of places have banned conversion therapy, basically every reputable group in the world when it comes to uh, medicine or mental health. Uh, strongly recommends against this practice. There is absolutely no medical value to it and there's a lot of harm done by it. So um, it's just a matter of, I think, policy catching up with where the science is at. The Red Wing mayor tells me there was a large amount of young people that came forward in support of this decision, which he says is encouraging. Reporting live in the studio, Zach Fuller, KTTC News.